51% win rate miracle? Oh, yes, it is. Imagine if he has a counter spell, though. I can't. He has a counter spell. How's it going, boys? And 3.5%. Today, we are doing bad things. Evil things in standard. How bad and evil? Well, let's just say for now it's the Geneva suggestion, okay? Let's just put it at that. We are playing Demir Mill, and we are 100% ready to to have only two lands and nothing else to play while our opponents have five lands. But that's a different story. We have a lot, a lot of things to do here. We have removal, so much removal, in fact, you will be surprised when we manage to draw zero of it against Mono Red Aggro. And then we have Breach the Multiverse and Jace. The win condition that pretty much honestly no one currently can deal with, which makes it kind of a little bit OP. We even have Rats with Pad of Petal and, obviously, the Celestis for the Cleave cost of Pad of Petal. And then, something that I finally managed to do, we have proper draw cards in our Demir Mill build, which usually is kind of hard to do, but we have done it. Memory Diluge and Tainted Indulgences. Pretty sway, I know. And even a little bit of that negating in case we're playing up against something that we desperately need this, because that also can potentially happen. In essence, it's extremely simple. Uh, drop Jace instantaneous minus X to the maximum, and then just breach the multiverse minus X to the maximum again, and have a pretty decent time, and watch your enemies reevaluate their decisions and lives. Mostly why they play magic, because that's the big question for everyone on this channel. In any case, 25 lands to be specific. That's right, this is one of those rare times in history where we're going above 24 lands. 25 boys. Why? Because I'm tired seeing Mono Red Aggro have 4 lands on turn 4 every time I play this game, while I'm struggling to get more than 1. Okay, so we're kind of trying to avoid that. A sweet, sweet 2.9 average mana cost, and with that being said, let's just get a crack in and see what happens. Going second, but we have a pretty decent hand. Is this Christmas? Well, probably not. Green plus this. Okay, a bad guy? I mean, why not? Well, let's just play this. Maybe may, maybe we want to actually do Taint and Indulgence. Who honestly knows, right? Okay, did nothing. Oh, if he's going to take a value move to do this, this is perfect because we can Celeste this after and then we have Memory Diluge. Or alternatively, we can even just Jace. He didn't... Oh, no, he did have land. Hmm. V very interesting. But I guess this plays in our favor with all of this draw. Well, currently we have all this draw and, well, only draw. So, yeah, that's that's a bit meh. Annoying. Um, uh, annoying amount of stuff. More thingies. Do I want to mill him just yet? No. Do I want Tainted Indulgences, though? Well, I can Tainted Indulgences lose a little bit of HP and it's probably going to be fine. Okay, that was, that was pretty meh. Okay, plan B. Do this, and let's mill him for two. At least we're gonna get more information what's happening here. Cut down Nissas and stuffs. Wow. Okay. This is how it is. Let's put the cat on purple. And let's see what happens. Shoogie. Shnoogie. Respectable. Anyway, let's see. A brat could be good. But we do have at least mana for... And this is... Something's human, right? Yeah, this thing's a human. Which doesn't seem like it. Because it's called a Dread Knight. But that's fine. Okay, Oto. Annoying. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's definitely time to memory diluge this bad boy up. Because we need some stuff. And this stuff... Well, Field of Ruin is pretty good for the land. If we don't have any other options. Uh, yeah, let's let's keep it like let's keep it. Up. Well, I'm gonna wait until his turn to destroy the Dread Knight. That's for sure. Also, this technically mills him, so you know, not the worst case scenario. Draws more. Okay, okay. Not in a bad position at all, honestly. 
Ooh, that's a bigly one. Okay. Let's see what he does. He has a bunch of lands. Oh, he just goes for the cottage, huh? Well, it be how it is. And, well, that, that parasitic griff also is, is how it is. We do have this, so we shouldn't worry too much about too much damage. Well, this is a lot of damage still, but, you know. Kinda. Oh, he's gonna go. He doesn't go for the memory diluge. Oh, wow. All this removal, and we're drawing a land. Oh, now it doesn't matter that we draw a land. Ooh. Actually, that kind of worked for us also. Not bad. Go for it to throw double removal with this. You know what? I kind of like it. What happens if we do this? No, we can't. Well, we technically can. I guess it's just a wait turn, huh? We have exile, and we have... Well, maybe I should have actually destroyed this sooner. A Riveteer's Charm. Okay. Well, I don't have anything to Riveteer away, so that's that's kind of fine. Uh, let's see. He actually didn't do anything. Hmm. I guess we just do this? He's gonna go for some big play, but do I care about those big plays? Like, what what is his big play? even. I have this so I can hit Planeswalkers, so I don't honestly think it's too much of a problem. Okay. Anything that we're gonna do, we're gonna do next turn anyway. Pad of Peril, beautiful, and another much. Pretty good. And by the way, I'm saying pretty good, but the reality is we're, we're literally on a perfect 50-50% win rate. I could close my eyes and win the same amount of games and close my eyes and lose the same amount of games currently here. It's a treat. And when I say it's a treat, it's actually pretty sad. But it is what it be. So let's see. I still want that Field of Ruin. Just for that stupid thingamajiggy there. Okay, this should be good. And we still have two mana left even. I like it. So currently we just need to draw a big card and it's gonna be good. Or just survive until we can memory diluge on his turn. We also have the full Tainted Indulgence play, so that's probably going to be our turn no matter what happens. Even though I'm kind of... Eh, that's not too upsetting. He's not playing anything big, so... Eh? We can start winning. We're probably drawing our big card, right? We didn't! But Pad of Paddle actually kind of does the job anyway. Okay. Double removal or pad of pedal. Pad of pedal it is. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. He's gonna draw one card with that, but honestly, who cares? If he does anything, I can just feel the fruit in it anyway, and it's fine. So, really good situation. Do, do you, at times like this, I always wonder if my opponent knows what's happening. If he knows that he's gonna get milled. There's no way he doesn't, right? Because... Wait, did I play a Jace? Yeah, it's exiled for some... How did he exile my Jace? Oh, right, he attacked with the Cottage, which was stupid. And that's how that happened. Okay, okay, makes sense. It doesn't, but whatever. Okay, do this. Maybe I get a better play here, so, you know, that's, that, that's kind of not bad. Also, if I get his Gliss, it's gonna be amazing. But I'm not sure about that. Also, you know what? You're not gonna draw extra. Let's do it like this. Maybe it's gonna be a memory dilution turn. Uh, classic class... Hmm. Well, there's no... Is there a world where I don't memory dilution this? Well, it's an instant, so it's no uh, no reason to rush. I'm kind of thinking about doing it now, because, well, maybe we draw a land, who knows. Lands are kind of semi-useful at the moment. He doesn't want to use the co He does finally use the cottage. What a time to be a cottage. Okay. Adios, co a cottage. Can I still cast the indulgence? Yeah, it's fine. Taps it for mana. What, what, what an absolute hero, by the way. What a tryhard. It's fine, though. Okay, doesn't get anything. And now plays a tortoise. Nice. Oh, it's actually called a tortoise. 
I just wanted to show disrespect towards it. Okay, that's fine. So essentially the first, uh, so essentially this is the win, right? We do this, he can't respond with anything, and we just uh, mill him. Oh, I mean, we're getting close. We're getting close, boys. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? Where, where, where's my bigly boy plays? Oh, oh, where's all, where's, where's all the heat boys? Decline, don't need extra draws here. Oh, lane is pretty good. Okay, do this. Let's see how it goes. And bam. Now let's install the fear of God in this absolute animal. Liliana avatar. Pfft. Cute, but no cigar. He doesn't have a late game. Yeah, he doesn't have a late game. That's amazing. I mean, we, we live in dark times. What can I honestly say? <laughs> oh, look at that. He's gonna cottage hit us. That's so cute. At this point, I can just get uh, 5 HP from the cottage. This is fine. Oh, it's actually exactly 5, uh, five toughness. Nice. Well, that's what a turtle does. It buffs lands. No, seriously, the fact that you people use the turtle just to get a che cheaper cottage kind of is just, I think, the epitome of magic players not understanding what life is all about. Okay? I'm not gonna lie. Also, I forgot it actually does that, so uh, you're gonna lose because you're playing turtles. I, I, ho I hope you're happy about it. Drops another one of these. Tainted, uh, okay. I, we need to hit it. <sighs> We're still winning, but this is not satisfying. I'm not gonna lie, boys, okay? I, I, I want my win condition to win this. <laughs> uh, stop! Wizards, stop! Actually, I need to be real careful here also. Yeah, he's just gonna, he's just gonna smack me real hot. I don't care if this uh, turtle mills him, I just want- This turtle is the equivalent of 5 damage, by the way, just FYI. Kinda disgusting. So, yeah, what do I do now? I don't even think I go for the full clear here, because that doesn't make- Does that make- Now, it, no, I, I probably should, right? As good as it gets. Now oh, he plays something, so the Celestis is not gonna flip. Okay, Wizards. Wizards! Okay, I can get a Jace at the bare minimum. I can get a Jace, boys. Or I could get nothing. Hey, hey, I'm not gonna lie. You know what's the bright side here? At the bare, 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 bare minimum. But actually pretty nicely hitting the things that I technically kind of want to hit. You know, the draws. It's not just lands or just removal and then lose because you can't draw. But at least it's something. Okay, 20 cards left. At this rate, it is almost statistically impossible that we do not top deck or... Then top deck now, memory deluge, don't fail me again. <gasps> Look at this! It's like a Christmas miracle. Wow! It took forever, but we did it, boys. We actually did it. Took really a long time, but we we did it, lads. Riveteer's Chan. I mean, that's cute, not gonna lie, but you're still dead, though. Okay. Uh, let me take this because of reasons. And yes. Good game, my dude. Going first in a pretty good hand. And by the way, boys, who's excited for the alchemy release? I bet no one. I, I bet no one. Not a single one of you is excited. And it's understandable. Neither am I. <laughs> Man, I already didn't want to buy the... Wow, respect, I guess. This is a really good card. It really is. Let's see the information. Okay, that was expected. And, well... Good enough. I, I I mean, we get to drop the Celestis with a uh, counter spell. That's pretty good. So, do you think he's just gonna, you know, do the evil things with the, my Jesu? Maybe. Oh, uh, not that useful, sadly. Another land, not that bad. Let's see if he has counter spellus. He doesn't. 
<laughs> I can feel the weakness. Okay, let's do this because it's... Ooh! Oh, that was not bad. That was not bad. Okay, let's see what he does with the Jace. Man, I'm not even gonna buy, by the way, with Wizards. Alchemy is so shit, I'm not even gonna buy it, okay? You, you can take that alchemy and literally just shove it up, you know? Because it's just, it's just bad. Alchemy is just so... You have ruined... Alchemy was a, actually a pretty decent concept, but you know what? You ruined it. You started printing cards that are way too overpowered for the game in general, because otherwise no one buys your shitty alchemy. That's it. And now I'm not gonna buy your shitty alchemy, because you know why? Because it's too overpowered. Well, and I don't currently play Historic. I am gonna do absolutely everything in my meager human powers. Yeah, that was expected. I'm gonna do absolutely everything in my meager human powers to just prevent myself from buying alchemy, okay? Everything I can. I'm gonna wait until the last point because uh, I hate alchemy. It's just bad, it feels sad, and... I mean, that's hilarious, but how about not today? I can just mine as this drop another Jason. Kinda just trick this dude. Yep, seems like a play, honestly. Oh, wait, there's one mana off of actually casting the big, the big kahunas. Let's take all the draw here, because why not, honestly. And now let's, yeah, let's minus one, because establishing dominance is always very nice. Ooh, here's the Atraxa mill, that's not bad. And let's just do it again, I guess. And then let's just hardcore search for the things that we need to win. Seems like an easy situation, right? Cut down is never gonna be useful. Seven. Seven's a good number. Okay. And now let's just hit him hard and hit him strong. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of good stuff there on each one. Ain't that a shame? Well, it is what it is. Maybe we draw something big? No, a cut down. The opposite of big, but we do have this. And again, we can't fail finding our win card. Cute, but how much do you honestly think that's gonna actually achieve there, Chief? Also, I actually want to know, how many of you are gonna buy alchemy? Probably no one, right? I'm assuming, yeah, it's gonna be pretty close to no one. No counter spells even, what a time to be... And again, I'm just missing all of my stuff. Holy potatoes. I mean, I can't complain too much because this guy's on the mill trill, but, you know, still. <laughs> oh, he actually just topped himself. That's funny. Well, it is what it is. Nothing he plays can... Eww, that's really annoying. Wait, that's... That's extremely annoying. Um... I guess this is my play because yes and yes okay that's exactly what I was actually looking for tokens adios beautiful beautiful and now yeah I can just jace him out of existence that's pretty sweet that's pretty nice uh, again what do you actually do I don't remember whatever well you give a plus one one and you can see good boy smart Oh, look at that! Win two games, have one land. What a time to be alive. Three lands. Why do I have a feeling this is not gonna matter? But anyway, anyway, boys, boys, boys. Last question, but this is a simple one. Are you excited for the Metamorphosis Netflix adaptation? I am. I'm really excited for that one. And no. We are thinking about the same metamorphosis. I'm just not gonna lie. I, I'm kind of excited. And hopefully this is actually something that... Yes, sir, sir. At least this is a good play. We still had Mulligan against Thread, which means we lose. Probably, at least, probably. But currently it's not looking that bad, honestly. Padded City Grip is gonna give us a little bit of time. But again, we have too many wins. Too many big Chongus plays for Wizards to not be like... Oh, you baby punishment! Yeah. Okay, do this. Instantaneous reactions. Why? Because fast. His name is also Elk101. At least it's not Bob. 
if there's one thing the wizard's intern does properly, it's he listens to me when I say it's very blatantly visible that everyone with the name Bob, Matt, and Teddy and whatever are just bots. At least they stop doing that. And our card equilibrium is... You can't even pay the thing. Well, I guess it's still haste plus damage, so, you know, not a big loss. I really need to find a rat here. Oof. Or, you know, alternatively, more parasitic grasps, which would be pretty lit. Oh, wow, this guy's just... Dude, if I rat him, I can actually win, because I have uh, life gain after that. Or I could just lose really, really hard now. I mean, one of the two is gonna happen. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Honestly, for a bad situation, that's as good as it gets. But will this make a difference? Well, if I draw a rat, it's gonna make a difference. But I think he's gonna hit my face with... I'm also... I'm probably just dead, aren't I? I'm, I mean, you put all of this life gain and whatever against red... And at the end of the day, you know... Oh, he did nothing. That's stupid. And at the end of the day, you know what? It usually doesn't even matter. <laughs> it just never matters. You you put all this removal against Thread. And what happens? It's, it's just like... it compl It's completely irrelevant. It's as irrelevant as it honestly can ever get. Oh, he's not actually buffing anything? That's, that's, that's wild. Well, wild or not, I think I'm surviving. He has something, but he's just not using it. I'm confused. In any case... Well, let's pass and see what happens. I mean, there's, there's a chance that we survive. Unless he, you know, lightning strikes me. Or any of the other 15 trillion things that could potentially happen. I'm gonna get extra draws from this, which is actually super peachy, cool, and perfect and whatnot. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna drop the Jace. Another Celestus. That's not useful. Um, in a land. That's also not useful. But then again... I mean, as bad as this is, this is at least a play. And I can flip this, because honestly, what else am I gonna do? <laughs> Maybe there's a chance, boys. Maybe the world exists with a chance for Leia's dance. Or not. Okay, got the Phoenix chickies. Drops the Mistress Foundry. Disgusting, deplorable, and absolutely... Well, not zero pizzazz, let's be real. Okay, okay. Stuff happened. That's, that's good stuff. Yes. I kind of like that. Okay, okay. And now I can draw extra cards with this. Is there a chance? Boys, is there an actual chance? Well... Not at this rate. I can draw with this. Actually, I'm gonna drop this. He's probably gonna mishra me. Well, he hasn't drawn anything that's, uh, you know, non-creature spell, so the negate's gonna be bigly. Or not. Yeah, or not. So, first things first, I guess, we, we get rid of this. And then we can draw the draw spits. Man, how is it that every time I play Dimit, the draw spits are literally, without question, the best draw that we have? I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's, it's kind of getting a little bit frustrating. But in any case, how did you work again? At the beginning, each player if, uh, deals damage to that play unless they control two or more basic lands. Bruh, I, I control a lot of lands. Okay, good. Ah, oh, that sucked though. I mean, still doing zero deeps, my 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 lado. And we're gonna switch to nighttime, which is kind of good. We, boys, we can win. Ooh, that's that's good. That's useful. Are we living the dream? Eh, annoying. The dream's annoying. My turn, bruh. Memory dilution up in here. 
Okay. Uh huh. Hmm. What else am I gonna honestly do, right? Do I just remove it though? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, oh, we just win. Yeah, that also seems to work. Yeah, we just win. We can cast this minus minus the Jace and call it a day. Okay, we we actually got our win, which is very neat, very cool, boys. It's a miracle. Now, I would like to say that these three wins in a row are special, but the reality is, currently, I'm actually having roughly three to four losses in a row, and then it's three to four wins in a row. I mean, the system's not just currently absolutely fucked, but the, the system is absolutely beyond that at this point. I, I'm not even gonna lie, boys. It's insane. Three to four wins in a row to three to four losses in a row. So, yay. Yay. Now I have get to experience maybe one more win if I'm lucky. And then it's going to be just a clean sweep. It's going to be great. And honestly, I think this guy just kind of botched it up. I'm not even sure. Because, man. <laughs> How... I should not be winning against Red, but I just drew the correct cards at the end. I guess good game, but, you know, it's gonna be painful soon. Real soon. Going second, but this is a good hand. And potentially, we only have to worry about one card, and that is, you know, the, the three cost one that creates tokens, but we have a cut down. Boys! Oh, this is soldiers? With extra steps? Okay. Okay. Boys! I believe we can win two, two, four games in a row, okay? I, I believe we have all the materials here, and this is soldiers, which means annoying, but kind of weak sauce. He didn't have anything? Well, might as well just remove him in that case. Perfect. Let's put the cat on purple for luck, and... Ugh. That soldier is so stupid and annoying. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I just can't. <laughs> it's really annoying. Okay, now if he drops Talia, I can't play this. And I'm pretty much, well, absolutely shwasted. He can't drop Adeline, so that's good. I wonder, does he have Adeline? He probably has Adeline. Adeline's OP OP. Wedding announcement. Aha. Uh -huh. You know, that thing that really, really just burns my bridges. Bridges are like an old-timey, I think, I think pants accessory. Anyway, there's a reason bridges are not around anymore. Because, well, you know, it's probably lame. In any case, let's see what he does. I got the memory deluge, which is actually pretty big here. Or I can just indulgence plus negate if he plays another wedding announcement at some point. Not sure if he's gonna even do that. But currently, boys, it looks like we have possibilities. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Also, by the way, the quality. Real good, I know. Okay, I think we can definitely ditch the breach the multiverse here because it's probably not gonna be that important for a while until we stabilize. Okay, so that's the, kind of the plan. A land. A land's good because I probably want to uh, be able to play the Memory Deluge for 7. And this would be 6, so that's kind of good. He probably doesn't actually have another wedding announcement. Now the problem is the flip is going to be painful. And if he add the lanes on top, that's, that's going to be seriously unrecoverable. Oh, that's also really, really bad and annoying. Well, it's not the biggest problem. It's five or more soldiers. This is not even a soldier. And these, by the way, are also not soldiers. So, you know, it's as good as it's gonna get. Do this, because, honestly, what else am I gonna do? And then let's just hope for the best. Because reasons. Yeah, this wedding announcement kind of is, like, ruining everything. Um, I guess this is the play, sadly. 
Well, at least we got removal, so it's not gonna be the most painful thing in existence. It's just gonna be extremely painful. But, you know, manageable levels of pain and frustration. So, first things first. Parasitic review because you're a Umi. And probably the uh, anoint this thing if he does not drop something uh, something bigger. Maybe even this, who honestly knows, right? Currently we're kind of manageable levels of pain, but you know, at any moment the pain could uh, overwhelm everything else. And he does the obvious play. Yeah. Oh man. How, how nice it's be how nice that we're playing control against someone who with uh, 15 layers of token generation I mean, I mean we literally can just wait and there we go again Yep, well at least we expected that one so It's literally draw three cards and if we get no rat we just absolutely get wasted nice to know nice to know v very cool well, all good things come to an end, as they say. Again, three losses in a row because reasons. Can't wait, boys. Oh, wow. Okay. Is this going to be the 50% one? 51% uh, win rate miracle? Oh, yes, it is. Imagine if he has a counter spell, though. I can't. He has a counter spell. Oh my lord, he he counter spelling a thing. Okay, whatever. Okay, I I mean, that's as good as it gets. Exactly, exactly. Beautiful, beautiful. Make this appear. Always, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Okay, so, well, we do have this, and we do have actually extra sauce value from the Titan Indulgence. And technically we are this. Ooh, a land. Not that useful, though. Okay, do you think it's going to be a third wedding announcement? Because that would be kind of the super nail in the coffin. Or Adelaine. Adelaine also works well. I think it's nothing. Oh, oh, I know what it is. It's one of these boys. 100% one of those boys. Okay. The good part is that we at least are flipping to uh, night time. So maybe we get another brat. You know, you never, you never know these things. Maybe there's a shot. Maybe there's a possibility even. So let's just see how it goes. No. But that's fine. And another land. Well, that was expected, honestly. Okay. So, do we risk it? Or do we just wait? I think we wait. I think we wait. He could, again, it's either this. Uh, oh, wasn't it? I thought he's gonna play a reinforcement recruit at the bare minimum. Also, she's hot. But, yeah. Okay, let's see how it goes. I think he has this, because that would be the perfect... Oh, well, look at this. That one card. He, he, ha, ha. How, how crazy. How crazy that you had exactly that. Actually, that's a bad target. But I make no wrong decisions or regrets. So this is fine. Ah, oh, man. J Salvatar also. It's always the J Salvatars that get fed the free win, by the way. It's it's like a What? What do you even have in your hand, you absolute potato? Yeah, play that so I get the turn and I can maybe draw a rat and you know win. Uh better chance of rat drawing, I guess. Hmm. Sag. Also, okay, 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 as bad as it gets, but boys, believe. Okay, that's useful. We can also uh, fake good game in him, which is nice. A 
land. Land's, land's kind of neat, but we already have the money for this, so it's fine. Okay. Does he know what this does? This is a soldier. <laughs> you know, just, just FYI. I think he knows. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, it's Joker. It's Joker, boys. He knows. Or I showed him, I'm not sure. Wizard, you really need to stop the thing where it shows enemies what I'm clicking on. But I think he knew. Well, as expected, bye-bye.